Yo guys, so I was just making a new video for you, and I was really struggling for FPS, alright? You can see here I get about 60, I started off about 100, but as I progress it drops easily down into the 30s, 20s and below. And I know a lot of you have the same problem. Now, I know I've made a lot of jokes about optimization, and I'm not really a big believer in all of these uh, methods you can use to get better FPS in armor. But, you know, I've just stumbled across this, and it really worked. I mean, it really, it genuinely worked, and I think it's going to do the same for you. So, I mean, hopefully you can get better FPS as well, and it's actually really simple. I mean, I know it sounds really cliche, but it's actually really, really simple. And I'm pretty sure you're going to be as surprised as I am that this actually works. So how does this actually work? Alright, well, I'm going to show you. So let's go into the server browser and let's just join any old server, alright? So that we can see what we get in reality rather than just on the editor or something. Alright, so, as you can see we're getting about 60 FPS. I mean, that is very reasonable for Armour 3. But we can expect this, of course, to go down below 30, sub 30 when we get into built up areas or dense forest. So what I found is if you tab out, go to your task manager, let's have a look. Alright, look at this. Armour 3... You know, the Armour 3 launcher is taking 13% of our CPU. I mean, what is this? We're not even using the program. Why does it need to take 13%? So let's close this down. Let's see what we get. All right, we're getting 100 FPS. I mean, look at, look at that. That's crazy. 40 extra FPS. I mean, that is ridiculous, if you ask me. I mean, this is what I'm getting. I don't know if you're going to see the same results, but hopefully you do. Alright, one last little handy tip I want to show you here. Launch up your Armour 3 in Steam, go to the launcher, go to your settings, and just make sure the Armour 3 launcher closes when you click play. That way you don't have to tab out and force quit in the task manager. Alright, I hope this helped you guys. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe. I've got more videos on the way, like you just saw the teaser of at the start of this. Thanks, bye.